Unveiling the Millennial Reign of Jesus, Unearthing Hidden Truths. Colon our exploration into the Millennial Reign of Jesus traverses the annals of history, drawing upon documented evidence and scholarly research to illuminate the mysteries of our past. Central to our inquiry is the perplexing phenomenon of the mud flood, a global catastrophe that has left its mark on civilizations around the world. Historical records from diverse regions, including Europe, North America, and Asia, reveal accounts of ancient structures buried beneath layers of sediment and debris. While no single comprehensive study exists, numerous historical accounts and archaeological findings corroborate the occurrence of catastrophic floods throughout history, prompting speculation about their significance in relation to biblical prophecy in the millennial reign of Jesus. Amidst the enigma of the mud flood, we encounter the architectural marvels of the Middle Ages, a testament to human ingenuity and craftsmanship. The construction of cathedrals like Notre Dame de Paris and castles such as Dover Castle exemplifies the intricate beauty and structural complexity of medieval architecture. Scholars and historians have extensively documented the architectural techniques and engineering prowess of this era, highlighting the significance of these structures as cultural and religious symbols. While interpretations vary, some researchers have speculated about the spiritual and eschatological significance of these monumental buildings, suggesting a connection to the anticipated millennial reign of Jesus. Furthermore, the disappearance of Tartaria from historical records adds another layer of intrigue to our investigation. Once a formidable empire spanning Eurasia, Tartaria has been the subject of much speculation and debate among historians. While some scholars attribute the lack of Tartarian presence in modern historical accounts to shifting geopolitical dynamics and the consolidation of rival powers, others propose more sinister explanations, pointing to deliberate efforts to erase Tartarian influence from collective memory. While concrete evidence may be elusive, the enigmatic disappearance of Tartaria remains a tantalizing subject for further research and exploration. In an interview with researched investigative reporter, and former martial arts master, Daniel Collier on the state of the world since this information has been suppressed he said the world has been moving in a guided state of darkness toward an agenda that the majority of the population does not want. Most everyone just wants to enjoy their friends and family and worship God as they see fit. But, there is a group of people, a religious sect, that is determined to shadow themselves from involvement in a plot to destroy the peace of the world. They work tirelessly to bring about chaos and fear to reach out and control every person on the planet and guide them toward self-destruction and suffering. The evidence in now undeniable for the sleeping masses. Their last attempt to take over using what I call Communist 19 has caused even the sleeping masses to ask who's behind pushing toward our destruction. In the book Reason to Believe, I uncover how as far back as the 1960s people who literally worship Lucifer and have written books about it, were in charge of programs in the United Nations who wrote out the future plans for humanity and the direction they were going to steer it. They took over mainstream denominations of churches and though they could not fully destroy the doctrines at first they worked to destroy the church through a mission of vital information and the focus on rock and roll worship music. It was an as approvable scientific method they used. They have theological mind Christians so focused on pharisaical types of arguments about 5,000 year old meanings of a single word rather than the current enemy of the world. This book was created to get Christians back into the understanding that there is a real physical flesh and blood enemy with names and faces who are working for the dark side to destroy them. People can no longer live lives of dismissiveness stating things like it's the devil when real people are pushing the buttons and running the events that are harming us. If you haven't realized it yet they plan to bring the world into utter destruction and chaos if you let them. They put you to sleep for a while as to who they are and their agenda but they got too arrogant and have revealed themselves. This same thing has happened numbers of times in various countries in the past. They keep getting arrogant and sloppy and get caught. But they are getting better at it and using technology to their advantage, that in the Christian church is in the most self-absorbed rock and roll hillsong blind madness it's ever been in. I don't say that lightly I was once right in the central hub of it all and realized what was going on. The church should have stood up to Communist 19 but instead we saw the pastors cower, comply, and even in force and against Christ's agenda. Now what's happening? Its congregations are sick, having heart attacks, and weak from their leaders joining forces with the scribes and Pharisees. I was indoctrinated for a long time in my life but through prayer and the Lord revealing things I was awakened from the deception. 
What was revealed is in this book that you can use to protect your family and help guide other believers into breaking away from this being appearing as an angel of light in the churches. The TV televangelists who are on channels owned by the scribes and Pharisees have deceived the nations long enough. It Jesus' church and it's our church and it no longer is going to be controlled by Satan and those wishing to usher in another against Christ figure. Look there is no time to play games anymore. It's like when Moses came down of the mountain and some of the people had built a golden calf and were worshipping it. They were told, All you who will worship the Lord your God step to this side and those who want to worship the false idol step to this side. Those who chose to reject God were then destroyed. We are at this place in time. The church has these pastors teaching messages that the scribes and Pharisees are paying them to teach and the church is weak and compliant to evil. You may not think things are that serious or true but it's because you lack the knowledge that was uncovered in this book. Wasn't having your country's economy destroyed that your forefathers fought to build, or loved ones deceived by Communist 19 into complying to what they said to do and are now dead before their time. How many of our loved ones were in nursing homes and tortured by this and you complied to the evil? Jesus told his disciples to sell their cloaks and buy a sword. That may go against your weak soft happy clappy praise and worship church but that's what Jesus told his disciples to do when he knew a violent turn was taking place in the world. You just don't realize how much these people hate you and Jesus and they see you as animals not worthy as anything more that slaves for them to use. They plan to get rid of 85% of you. Which includes you children and friends. Think about that real hard and if you were called to be a man be pan be coward for Christ as the false church has taught. You know that turn the other cheek in the Bible was dealing with an insult not self-defense. A person used to slap you on the cheek with a hand or a clove as an insult. Jesus said don't let yourself be angered into stupid quarrels by those enticing you. But when it came to self-defense Jesus said to buy a sword. God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He is not a wimpy God, nor was Jesus. Jesus made a whip and went into the temple and whooped there you know what's with that whip. You think that whip was made of soft felt. No whips will tear your skin open and can hurt for weeks. I mighty sound harsh but if you know what's in this book you will not be soft toward evil. They are hurting kids for the love of God. Everything going on from school to the grave is to hide the millennial kingdom, hide the truth about the plane we live on, hide where we came from and the nature of our being, hide who's helping Satan, and to make whatever is left for the future of your children a living nightmare as they follow Jesus. Some of you have been so lulled to sleep you believe that it's all God's will and is supposed to happen because the rapture is coming and Jesus is coming to stop Satan. So you excuse yourself from having responsibility and trying to stop all of this madness. Now pedos read to your kids in school. That's how weak they have made you. Do you like being weak, and cowardly in the spiritual and physical realm? I don't like that at all. Right now the biggest crime issue in your country is child trafficking. You know what involvement your church has in stopping it? None. You know how much time it invests in a happy clappy rock and roll hill song style worship service? 75%. Do you think this was an accident? It was all planned. It was planned and carried out so you would think it's just always been like this. They hid your history from you so you would figure it out. They took away your natural's health herbs and replaced it with costly death drugs. They poison the music industry, they poison the TV channels with anti-Christian messages, they infiltrated the teachings of your churches with Masonic pastors and Judas servants to a Middle Eastern country. Everything Jesus said not to let happen in a Christian nation is starting to happen. The question is are you going to keep scrolling through social media or YouTube for the next 10 years thinking you're going to find the answers I'm talking about? Well you're not. Who do you think owns those sites? You think their algorithms are going to allow that? Well before I go into a sermon that all I have to say about that. In our quest for truth, we must tread carefully, relying on verifiable evidence and rigorous scholarship to separate fact from fiction. While the mysteries of history may never be fully unraveled the book taking nearly five years of research to uncover, reason to believe, hiding the millennial kingdom of Christ offers a thought-provoking exploration of the millennial reign of Jesus, hiding our history, and using ancient forms of magic to hide the truth from the world. This book's revealings the dire need for our understanding of the past and future. Authored by esteemed researcher Daniel Collier, 
This seminal work provides readers with a easy-to-understand framework for interpreting historical data and discerning the hidden truths that lie beneath the surface. Every person who does not know how they are using secret techniques to mislead us and that includes Christians, are doomed to remain as Jesus said. Perishing for lack of knowledge. It is imperative that every person learn this information to protect themselves, their family, and ensure this cabal does not take over the entire world. Join us in our pursuit of knowledge and enlightenment. Link in the description of this video below. Reason to believe hiding the millennial reign of Christ is available in the description box below. It's time to reveal their hidden agenda. Get your copy now.